Turning now to the latest on the mystery of Chinese tennis star Peng Shuai. Questions about her safety growing louder with the Olympics in Beijing just days away. Maggie Ruley is tracking the latest. And Maggie, at the Australia Open, fans were seen wearing T-shirts asking where she is. Yeah, Michael, exactly. Initially, those T-shirts were banned, but the backlash against Tennis Australia was swift. The country's defense minister even saying this isn't a political issue, it's a human rights issue. About faced at the Australian Open on Tuesday, Tennis Australia reversing its ban on T-shirts, drawing attention to Chinese player Peng Shuai, whose safety and well-being is being questioned after she seemed to disappear from the public for weeks after accusing a former Chinese official of sexual assault. Allegations the Chinese government have refused to even comment on. They're asking our friend to take her shirt off. On Friday, security for the Open asking activists to remove T-shirts reading, where is Peng Shuai? These videos from activists going viral. Because it's put too political? Yeah, okay. Is there a reason why? Is there someone else we can talk to? Like, we just like to give a... You can, you can talk to a tennis Australia on this. Or anyone in the premises, you know, because we just want to know exactly why Free Peng Shuai is controversial. Tennis Australia saying at the time that while Peng's safety is its primary concern, we don't allow clothing, banners or signs that are commercial or political. The incident drawing ire from tennis legends like Martina Navratilova. I find it really, really cowardly. This is not a political statement. This is a human rights statement. And current players. I think that everybody should like be able to manifest their support to Peng Shuai. Peng, a number one doubles player, has rarely been spotted since posting the assault allegations on social media in November. The post was quickly deleted. Last month, she appeared to backtrack during an interview with a China-friendly Singaporean media outlet, but that did little to reassure people about her safety. There hasn't been that much development uh, in terms of contact with Peng Shui, even though from our side we will continue to make any and all efforts to make sure that she's safe. Now with the Winter Olympics in Beijing just one week away, experts say it's unlikely this scrutiny will go away anytime soon. The timing really couldn't be better for those of us who care about the story and the timing really couldn't be worse for Chinese officials who want it to go away. And as much as China wants to control the narrative around this story, with thousands of the world's journalists about to descend on Beijing for the Olympics, we should expect a lot more pressure on the Chinese government for answers. Guys, Thank you, Maggie. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.